horrifying military medical experiments. Although the military is loath to admit it, they have been at the forefront of some of the worst and most unethical human experimentation in history. A lot of this has been covered up and expunged, but multiple militaries across the world, sanctioned by their own governments, have performed some truly heinous acts against other human beings. Nazi Germany's Joseph Mengele During World War II in the Nazi concentration camp Auschwitz in Poland, there was a Nazi doctor who performed horrifying experiments on the Jewish prisoners. His name was Dr. Joseph Mengele, but he was better known as the Angel of Death. Mengele's particular obsession was performing experiments on twins. Everything he did was performed on unwilling and unable to consent participants and was 100% unethical and deeply disturbing. The exact number of his victims is unknown and to this day believed to be underestimated. As well as his propensity for twins, Mengele performed most of his experiments on children, targeting Jewish and Roma children in particular, many of whom did not survive their treatment. But some of those who did spoke out about what they had experienced, one of whom was a twin named Eva Moses Kor, who was just nine when she and her twin sister were separated from their family and sent to Mengele at Auschwitz. Once there, the twins were stripped, their hair shaved, and they were tattooed with registration numbers. Even at Auschwitz, Mengele's work was top secret, and they were completely separated from the other prisoners. Eva spoke about the other twins she saw and the horrifying fates they suffered. According to her account, Mengele's research could be split into two parts, genetics and germ warfare. For the germ research, he would inject one twin with a deadly disease and monitor its progression. If the child died, their twin would be killed so they could both be autopsied, or more accurately, dissected and the results compared. Other experiments included cross transfusions of blood and multiple experiments on their lower bodies and organs, such as connecting a urinary tract of one young girl to a colon. One of Mengele's most horrific experiments was his attempt to make his own version of Siamese twins by connecting two victims' internal organs to each other. As well as Ava, there are many accounts from other survivors, and the breadth and depth of Mengele's experiments are too extensive to mention them all. Another child, Ephraim Reichenberg, who was 17 at the time, was mistaken for a twin with his older brother and spoke of experiments performed on their vocal cords by Mengele and his team. And Jonah Locks, who spoke of painful injections she suffered to her spine as well as being operated on by Mengele. According to Locks, his research would be sent to the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute where he would, disgustingly, be paid well for these reports. These are just a few of the horrific reports of what the poor children of Auschwitz experienced under Mengele's orders. But Joseph Mengele was not the only Nazi to perform unethical medical experiments. Others included Klaus Schilling and George Schaltenbrand, and their research was widespread and varied, including atrocities like forced eugenic sterilization and castration. Men like Schilling were thankfully brought to court at the Nuremberg trials after the war, although, incredibly, he asked to continue his experiments and volunteers, but Mengele fled, escaping the Allied forces. And so, he will forever remain in history as the Angel of Death, the Nazi doctor who was never brought to justice. Unit 731 and Biological Warfare Unit 731 was a secret division of the Japanese military stationed in Manchuria during the 1930s and 40s. The unit performed human experimentation and tested acts of biological warfare on prisoners and civilians. It was commanded by a man named Ishii Shiro who used his position to encourage military interest in biological warfare. When the war ended, most of the documentation on the unit was destroyed and the true horrors of the experiments conducted only properly started to emerge decades later, but it is believed that thousands upon thousands lost their lives in Unit 731 in the name of advancing biological warfare. Largely, the unit used Chinese citizens as their guinea pigs, and like Mengele, those who succumbed under the studies had their bodies dissected and autopsied to analyze the effects of their experiments. What occurred at Unit 731 includes some of the worst atrocities in history. These are just some of the things we know took place. Live dissection of victims without any anesthesia, Intentional infection with a plethora of diseases, including the plague, cholera, and tuberculosis. Death by experimental weapons like high-altitude bombs, intended to be filled with deadly gases like anthrax and clouds that disperse lethal bacteria. 
and intentional exposure to frostbite. Famously, it is the last experiment that has actually proven to be useful in the medical community. As Ishii's team discovered, the best treatment for frozen limbs is to soak them in water at 37 degrees Celsius. To discover this, however, he repeatedly froze and defrosted human beings, making the price for the knowledge far too high. The work Unit 731 did was dehumanizing, and it's clear that they did not see their subjects as human at all. In fact, historian Sheldon Harris claimed they referred to their subjects as monkeys, or Manchurian monkeys, and other similar animal names. Few survived the horrors of the research program. Even now, Unit 731 remains relatively unknown. Unlike the experiments of the Nazis, which were exposed after the war, the unit in Japan did not receive the same treatment. Incredibly, a lot of the Japanese researchers escaped punishment altogether, including General Ishii Shiro, who received immunity from prosecution for himself and his men. In fact, horrifyingly, a lot was done to cover up the truth of what had happened there, in no small part thanks to the U.S., who expunged a lot of documentation in exchange for receiving the results of some of the medical experimentation that took place. To this day, it's unknown just what research the U.S. claimed from the Japanese as part of this agreement. U.S. Experimentation During the Cold War On September 28, 1994, the United States General Accounting Office released a report written by the Assistant Comptroller General, Frank C. Conahan, that revealed some of the dark and disturbing experiments performed by the U.S. military during the Cold War. The report found that the Department of Defense and other national security agencies were responsible for the undertaking of extensive radiological, chemical, and biological research programs. Many of the experiments had their true purposes concealed, and as a result, the hundreds of thousands who took part in them were unable to give fully informed consent. They suffered injuries, health issues, and some even died. The scope of the experiments is also deeply horrifying. Over 200 radiation tests have been performed on over 210,000 participants, and a further 199,000 were exposed. In other studies, Chemical tests were sent out to universities, hospitals, and research facilities to be used on uninformed healthy adults, psychiatric patients, and prisoners alike. Records show that this included the testing of chemical weaponry like mustard agents, the catalysts of the deadly mustard gas bombs used in the previous world wars. Beyond that, participants were also exposed to nerve agents and or antidotes, given psychochemicals to analyze their effects, and trialed the effects of long-term LSD use. Some of these tests were conducted by the CIA, and not the military specifically, including the more renowned MK Ultra project where the LSD testing took place. However, it is clear that the government as a whole was involved in these experiments during the Cold War, and the military certainly played a part. There are plenty of other experiments and atrocities humanity has wrought on each other across the centuries, but those conducted by military officials like Mengele, Ishii, and the U.S. government in times of war are particularly disturbing. <laughs>